Hello and welcome to Video Jug and a closer look at the planets. Jupiter is the largest of all the planets. It is so big it could swallow all the other planets together. It's almost 143,000 kilometers across at the equator. If Jupiter were any bigger, it would turn into a star. Jupiter was named by the Romans as Lord of the Planets. In Greece, this is the equivalent to Zeus and was the original namesake of the weekday that would come to be known in English as Thursday. Jupiter is the fifth planet out from the Sun. It lies between Mars and Saturn at nearly 780 million kilometers. It takes almost 12 Earth years to make one complete orbit. Jupiter is not a solid rocky planet like the Earth, but instead is a gas giant composed mainly of hydrogen and helium gas. The pressure towards the center has made the gases turn almost solid but not rock. What we see of Jupiter is simply the top of the clouds. Different layers combine to make belts across the surface. Despite its massive size, Jupiter rotates very quickly. One day on Jupiter lasts about 10 hours. This rapid spinning has caused the planet to bulge at the equator so that the radius at the equator is 72,000 kilometers, while at the poles it's only 67,000 kilometers. This flattened shape is clearly visible from Earth. Jupiter is a very turbulent place. High winds blow in every direction, stirring up the cloud belts. This stirring causes anomalies at the upper clouds. One such anomaly has created an anticyclone storm that has lasted over 300 years. We call it the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is over 10 times bigger than the Earth. It was probably first observed by Giovanni Cassini, who described it around 1665. It was Galileo who first turned a telescope towards Jupiter, and on January 7, 1610, he observed four bright spots moving around the planet over a succession of nights. He deduced that these were in fact moons orbiting around the planet. His discovery caused a major outcry with the Church when he declared that the Earth was not the center of the universe, but instead was a planet traveling around the Sun. He was subsequently placed under house arrest for the rest of his life for heresy. We now know that what Galileo saw were the four largest moons of Jupiter, Ganymede, Callisto, Io, and Europa. Jupiter has at least 60 moons and counting. The four Galilean moons are huge and are all completely different from each other in structure. Ganymede is the largest of the moons at over 5,262 kilometers in diameter. It's composed of silicate rock and water ice with an ice crust floating over a warmer ice mantle. Callisto is the second largest at 4,820 kilometers in diameter. Callisto is also the least dense of the Galilean moons. It is one of the most heavily cratered satellites in the solar system and has one major feature, a basin around 3,000 kilometers wide called Valhalla, which probably dates back to the formation of Callisto's crust. Io is the closest of the four moons to Jupiter and the second smallest, but Io is still the fourth largest moon in the solar system. It is also the most volcanically active body in the solar system with the largest recorded volcanic eruptions. And Europa. It is believed that if life exists in the solar system other than on Earth, then Europa is the most likely candidate. Europa is a strange world. It is completely covered in a layer of ice up to 100 kilometers thick with possibly a liquid ocean beneath. The core of Europa is keeping the ocean from freezing and so there may be underwater volcanic geysers similar to those under the Earth's oceans. Over millions of years, Jupiter's size has protected the Earth and the other inner planets from catastrophic impacts from comets and meteors, 
by acting as the solar system's cosmic vacuum cleaner. As it travels around in its orbit, it sweeps all interstellar debris before it. Proof of this occurred in 1994 when a comet known as Shoemaker-Levy 9 got a little careless near to Jupiter. SL9 broke into more than 20 pieces ranging in size up to 2 kilometers in diameter and is believed to have been pulled apart by Jupiter's tidal forces during a close encounter in July 1992. These fragments collided with Jupiter's southern hemisphere between July 16 and July 22, 1994 at a speed of over 60 kilometers per second. The prominent scars from the impact could be seen on Jupiter for many months after the impact and observers on Earth describe them as more easily visible than the Great Red Spot. Jupiter has been visited by no less than seven probes beginning with NASA's Pioneer 10 in 1973 and Pioneer 11 in 1974. They flew past at a distance of less than 34,000 kilometers. The New Horizons probe en route to Pluto flew by Jupiter for gravity assist. Its closest approach was on February 28, 2007. So far, the only spacecraft to orbit Jupiter is the Galileo probe, which went into orbit around Jupiter on December 7, 1995. It orbited the planet for over seven years, conducting multiple flybys of all of the Galilean moons. The spacecraft also witnessed the impact of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 as it approached Jupiter in 1994, giving a unique vantage point for the event. Nothing like being in the right place at the right time. For more intriguing facts about the solar system, check out our other videos here on VideoJug.